Hey everyone, my name is Ryan from SyncThemes.com and in this video we're going to talk about V cards, what they are and how you can use them when searching for a job, you're changing careers, or if you simply want to get your portfolio or a resume online. So basically a V card is an online business card. It includes the same information as a typical business card, but by creating one online, you're able to expand upon that with a complete resume, portfolio, a blog, and contact information all in one interactive website. So it's basically an online business card for yourself or your company. Now, there are lots of ways to set up an online V card. You could purchase a simple HTML template. There are online applications you can use, or better yet, you could use a WordPress V card theme, which gives you a lot more flexibility to, you know, customize the look, the layout, colors, fonts, and other advanced controls right in WordPress. So, WordPress V card themes are typically simple one-page designs that are specially created to mimic the look and feel of an actual physical business card. Most premium themes will also include additional options for a blog, social media links, and short codes that help you insert you know, your resume details and pictures, Google Maps, contact forms, and other tools to help you completely customize the look and feel of your V-Card. When choosing a V-Card, make sure it is responsive. This means the vCard layout will adapt to different browsers on computers, tablets, and mobile phones, which all have different uh, resolutions. Having responsive vCard ensures your site looks and functions correctly on all the mobile devices that are out there these days. So you're probably wondering what type of information you should put in your vCard. Well, this highly depends on the amount of information that you want to give people. Uh, so let's take a look at the Sync Themes WordPress vCard theme we have open here called Resume. This is a good example of what you should try to include in your vCard. Of course, you can always expand upon these uh, general recommendations too. First, you're going to want to start off with putting in your personal or your company name. Make sure to give yourself a title too so visitors know the industry you're in and the type of work that you do. Next is your home page. Now this should include a summary of some amazing features, interesting facts, and hobbies that you have. Try to leave work experience for the next area we'll be talking about in your resume. You know, also make sure to try to include a few links on this page directing your viewers to you know, uh, your resume or your portfolio pages. That brings up my next point, which is your resume. Uh, now, your online resume is a combination of your skill sets, previous work experience, uh, education, references, and other technical details. Try to avoid putting a lot of pictures or fancy graphics here and try to keep the focus on your credentials. Now, one of the most important areas of your V-Card is your portfolio. If you're an artist, a photographer, videographer, musician, or anything in between there, uh, this is a great way to showcase your work. Just remember to focus on organizing a portfolio that is easy to navigate through and only include your best work. Now, one of the optional areas to a V-Card is the blog. Some V cards contain the ability to have a blog, however, only use this if you will diligently keep it updated. There is nothing worse than a bunch of outdated information that is no longer pertinent. So, some of the things you could include in your blog uh, could be company news, recent trips, uh, tips and tricks to showcase your knowledge, or other details on your life. It really is up to you to decide how much of your life and which aspects you let others see using your blog. So no V card is complete without a contact form. Now don't just put an email form up and call it a day. Make sure you provide alternative information uh, to reach you at like phone numbers, fax numbers, uh, your address. 
most vCard themes will also include social media links to Facebook, Twitter, and other social media sites that you can direct your viewers to as well. So just to review everything we just went over, you want to have an about page with some fun facts about yourself, uh, a resume with previous work experience, education and skills, a portfolio page of only samples of your best work, uh, then there's the optional blog that you can use to keep people updated, uh, and a contact form and other information for people to use to get a hold of you. Just remember when selecting a WordPress vCard theme to use, choose one that fits you and sets you apart from others you know, in the workplace and within the industry in general. Keep it modern, up to date, and with enough information to positively portray yourself in a clear and concise way. Thanks so much for watching this video from SyncThemes.com. My name is Ryan and I really hope you learned a little more about vCards and how they can help you stand out from the crowd. If you like the vCard we used in this video, check out the link in the description to purchase it for a small fee. It's super easy to use and can be set up in a matter of minutes. Cheers everyone and thanks again for watching.